Kia ora everybody and welcome along to the show. Now tonight I announced the winner of last week's Read Homeboy and we also head to Ngā Hauwe Whaa and Blues Rugby Club to have a chat about the support from Southlanders and the family who have come, families who have come from Christchurch following the earthquake. But first up joining me in the studio is our very own travel guru Tony Laker. How are you? I'm great Janelle, you alright? I'm good thank you, how was your weekend? Uh, well wonderful, I went to that uh, cancer ball that was on on Friday night and that was sensational, I had a great night, the, uh, the who's who of Invercargill were there and, mis my, and myself as well. Nice. So, uh, you yeah, know, it was really cool. They did a very good job. So, But I'm still getting over it, mate. I you get home really... You're a bit seedy on a Monday. Well, well it doesn't seem seedy, but you get home at like two in the morning and then the children wake you up at six. It's not a great... Uh, <laughs> I'm too old for that carry-on now. But, but no, it was great. So I had a wonderful weekend. Thank you. And it's all for a very good cause, isn't it? It was indeed, and they raised lots of good money. So um, fantastic. Look forward to it next year. Excellent. Mm. Now let's have a wee talk about uh, this roadshow that's coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we spoke about that the last time you were in, but we'll just uh, talk about it again so our viewers who didn't watch it have an idea of what we're talking about. Well, it's really exciting actually, uh, Janelle. It's the South Australian tourism people. Uh, what they're doing is they're flying over from, uh, from where they live, obviously, in South Australia, and uh, they're flying into Auckland and they're uh, picking up some camper vans and they're basically going the length of the country doing uh, about 15 roadshows, I think, at different places. Uh, they weren't doing in the cargo, so uh, we, we made that right, <laughs> and uh, they've now added us into our, their, uh, their schedule, and I'm really looking forward to that, and it was really nice of them to do that. So it's on Monday, uh, the 28th of, of March. It's at the Ascot Park from 11.30 till 2.30. And uh, people just come along, give us a call to register their interest over because it's free to go along. And they're going to be able to talk firsthand to all those tourism operators that's come from uh, Adelaide and uh, South Australia, which is a wonderful place to go to. Fantastic. Mm. So anything in particular that they'll be talking about? Yeah, well, my favourites over there are obviously the Barossa Valley, which is uh, which is there, which is all that wine country, which is gorgeous. Janelle, if you're ever on holiday, that's a great place to start. And uh, the Murray River, um, be it houseboating, be it cruising or whatever, there's a whole range of different things to do on the Murray, and that's a sensational stretch of water, that. Uh, and, of course, the beautiful city of Adelaide, Adelaide which is, really is a beautiful place to go. So, um, you know, if people are going just to Adelaide and South Australia for a holiday, or as a lot of people, what they do is they fly into, say, Melbourne or Sydney or something, and then um, add that onto their itinerary at the finish or the start, and that's a great way to do it too. So um, that's the go. Go along to the roadshow, and there's going to be all these tourism operators there from over there that are just going to talk firsthand to everybody of what they should do for their holiday. And uh, no doubt, I'll have some special deals going on on the day as well. And that's in Invercargill, and then in Gore the following, evening, so uh, Tuesday the 29th, um, Jane who is uh, the uh, the head of the Tourism Australia is going to be in the Gore office after uh, after work sort of 5 till 7 to uh, to talk to anybody who wants to do that in Gore as well. So there it is, take a, take a breath Tony. <laughs> awesome, now just staying on the topic of Australia, you have some uh, package deals to the Gold Coast don't you? Yeah, the old family That's holidays, you can't go wrong to the Gold Coast can you? We talk about that all the time, so um, for this week uh, they're on special for uh, travel for most of June, July or August, so that's a good time to get out of uh, Southland in the winter time. And also Rarotonga, that's on special as well, so um, both of those places, exceptional places for family holidays or couples. Nice. Mm. Now we spoke about Gold Coast and we talked about where to take the kids such as the um, movie parks and mm. Waterworld and things like that mm. and we spoke about Dracula's as well Yep. if you're a group going there. Indeed. But of course I wanted just to talk about the um, shopping. Now there's Pacific Fair there, yes. there which is a huge mall. <laughs> yeah. Very cool though. Yeah but not the best, well not the best depends who you ask but we found, Tracy found another one last time we were over <laughs> there because I always uh, thought Pacific Fair was the place to go to and it is, it's sensational. Right in Broad Beach uh, heaps of uh, shops there and, and really good shopping but there's some uh, really cool outlet um, shopping as well uh, not far from out of Gold Coast, but the the one that we found, I think it was called Narang off the top of my head, but wow. uh, it's supposedly the largest one in, um, on the Gold Coast now, okay. and uh, has the only David Jones store in the whole of um, um, Queensland, I was told, blah, blah, and there was about, I think, 200 shops or something, so it was huge, and that's only sort of a drive, we had a rental car, so it was about a 10 minute drive from uh, where we were staying down in Broad Beach, so uh, yes, the shopping is, um, I'm not a shopper, mate, but I've got to tell you, there is heaps and heaps of shopping to be had on the Gold Coast. Excellent. Mm. And there's also quite a lot of um, buffet bre breakfasts in Surface Paradise as well. Oh, heaps of cafes, heaps of restaurants. Um, again, great dining for families, great dining if you want to up, up it a bit and uh, yeah, for the couple type thing. But uh, and, and the key is the other thing, if you're staying at a really nice resort, to make sure that you get the breakfast included by us before you go because that saves you a lot of money rather than uh, and messing around rather than paying when you're over there. So, uh, But yeah, I mean, the Gold Coast basically it has got sun 
it's got surf, it's got sand, it's got shopping, it's got all those S's that, um, that makes it a wonderful holiday, doesn't it? <laughs> now let's just talk about these uh, riverboat cruises as well. Yeah, well uh, it's time to start thinking about what we're doing for our escorted cruises next year, and uh, we'll, uh, we're escorted tours next year, believe it or not, and uh, Tracy and I this year in June are taking a, a Mediterranean uh, cruise tour, which is going to be awesome, from Barcelona through to Venice. 12-night um, cruise, just beautiful on the Ruby Princess. And we've filled that. We've got 42 Southerners all ready to rock and roll, um, so that's all good. But we're going to do exactly the same thing next year as well. So if you're keen to do that in June next year, um, give us a call and we'll just register your interest and as soon as we've got all the pricing out for next year, which won't only be in a month or two, we'll get that all out to people. Uh, and Trace and I, for our one next year that we're going to escort, we're going to do a river cruise, which um, is huge nowadays, Janelle. People are just falling over river cruising now, which is just the, the little boats through the rivers of, um, or the main riverways of, of Europe. And uh, we're going to do one which is uh, going to be gorgeous. It's from Budapest in Hungary mm -hmm. and all the way up to uh, Amsterdam in Holland, which is a 15-night cruise. This is luxury stuff, beautiful, um, and just a really nice way to see um, the inner workings of Europe, if you like, because the rivers used to be the roads once upon a time. So that's wow. where all the castles are built next to and all the, all the things. So. Uh, and um, basically, I'm taking registrations of interest for that, and I've even got a flash flyer for that already. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Wonderful. Well, thank mm. you very much once again, Tony, for coming in. Oh, absolute pleasure. Nice to see you. You too. I'll see you next time. And of course, if you want to get in contact with Tony and his team, 3640 Calvin Street, Invercargill, the number there, 214 3500, or of course, 30 Main Street and Gore, and the number there is 03 208 9308. And you can give them a call, 0800 Lakers.